Performance is always on the top of the list for enhancement requests each year. This year there was a major focus on helping us with drawing performance with the addition of detailing mode. If we go in to open a drawing, we've got the option to come into detail mode. So by using detail mode, we can open very large and very complex drawings in seconds. When this first pops up, we've got a list of different things that we can do. We'll go over each one of those as we go through this video. So we aren't loading the models into memory, but we do have access to the drawing views. We can come in and use detailing mode for design reviews. Maybe we just want to open up the drawings very quickly. Or if we have minor edits or detailing that we want to do to the drawings. Switching between sheets is instantaneous and we can bounce back and forth between those sheets very easily. Drawing views can be arranged and moved around. Here maybe we even come in and delete this drawing view. Come over and create another sheet. And we can paste that drawing view into this other sheet modify the dimensions, move things around. We can even go in and rename this sheet. Maybe elevation number two. Reorder the sheets and pull it down here. So now that we've got a little bit more room on this view, we can come in and arrange things a little bit differently. So that's one of the huge powers of this detailing mode of being able to modify the drawing as we go. We've got the ability to add additional annotations. So really anything on the annotations tab that's not grayed out, we can come in and add regular balloons, even snap them to the uh, magnet line. We can't auto balloon or do whole callouts, but most everything else is definitely available. We can come in and add additional notes. We can't edit any of the pre-existing notes, but pulling in notes from a annotation library is definitely possible. Come in and you know move dimensions around and see what we can do with the drawing views. We've even got the ability to come in and add some dimensions. So dimension from a couple of these entities. control how we want them to look. We even have the ability to use the, the format painter to choose this dimension and add that same tolerance to these other dimensions. Maybe a little bit more cleanup to you know, move those around. Come in and add a dimension here. We've got access to all of the tolerance tools and other annotation tools um, that we might need to make our drawing nice and completely detailed. When we're done, we definitely have the ability to come in and save the file. Save without resolving is probably going to be the way that I would want to go. We don't have to resolve everything if we don't have to. But we've also got the ability to come in and save this as a DXF, DWG, all the way over to a PDF file. So anything that we've done here in detailing mode uh, is going to show up in the finished product. So coming in and using these tools in detailing mode is going to make it much easier to detail massive drawings without the burden of having to load the models into memory or even having them present.